Guys, I don't know if y'all have been noticing something, but we have a problem in the music industry. It's not like a extremely, oh my gosh, this is bad. We need to take care of this immediately. But it's more so of like an, a nuisance and annoying problem. I'm not even going to say who has this problem because we all pretty much know who it is. But at this point, over social media, I have realized that people are starting to like switch up on them almost. And I think it's because people are just sick and tired of this mysterious persona. And the reason I say that is because it, if you- DAMN! And the reason I say that is because if you pay attention to the underground scene, a lot more people with like actual personalities are starting to pop off almost. Ian, Laserdim, Xavier for sure. People are just so over with the mysterious act i remember when osama son was first popping up on the scene and the interviewer was asking him a bunch of questions and he kept on saying low low i personally thought that video was kind of funny but everybody in the comments thought otherwise they were like cardi has done irreversible damage to society even though the video was clearly a joke people don't even like joking about it anymore because it's just over i think the main reason why people are done with this persona because if you think about it if you're a fan of someone for a very long time and they haven't dropped anything in a really long time obviously you're gonna be like a little bit annoyed right but if that artist was responsive you know always engaging with their fans you would understand even though as an artist i'm saying this the fans make your career your reputation makes your career so if you're not responding to the fans that make your income then how do you expect to be liked and i think that's something that a lot of underground artists are suffering from is just the the cardi effect just because they see oh cardi's getting away with it that means i should do it that means it is going to work out for me no <laughs> it works for cardi because it's cardi and it's not even working for him barely anymore back to the underground scene like i said a lot of people are blown up just because they're being themselves and they're acting like themselves not necessarily in their music but say in interviews, you know, they're just, you know, they're chilling. Another point that I want to talk about is why would you not do interviews as an artist? Like, I really just don't understand that at all. I swear to God, if I blow up, you best bet I'm doing every interview I can. Because when you blow up, people are wanting to look at what you are like and get to learn about you a little bit more. Just because you got one song popping off doesn't mean that you can act all mysterious all of a sudden. That is a chance to bring in more fans and more loyal fans. One person I respect a lot in the underground is Funeral. If you don't know who Funeral is, he makes like hyperpop digicore adjacent music. But the thing about him, he is the most responsive artist I have ever seen. And guess what? Because of that, he has one of the most loyal fan bases I've ever seen. Just because he actually responds and cares for his fans. I think the start of the end for Cardi was him canceling the antagonist tour and literally saying nothing about it. You gotta think, people have been hyped for that tour for months. And then all of a sudden, it's just, you know, oh, we're not doing it. And then not a single word was said. Man, if I bought a ticket, I would be pissed too. Your fans deserve to know why. But you gotta think, at the end of the day, Cardi gets away with it because he's so large in the music industry. Say somebody with 500,000 monthly listeners canceled their tour and didn't say a word, they would get pressed immediately. <laughs> People would immediately switch up on them because that's just annoying, bro. You're not even that up, so why are you acting like that? Like a month back, I watched that Xavier interview where he was just skating around, talking about skating, and then people were in the comments are like, Oh, he's actually human like you know it was cool to watch his interview you know he's just a normal dude making music and i respect that a lot like i don't understand what's so bad with doing stuff like that now if you want privacy i get that but that doesn't change the fact that you have to interact with your fans they are literally the people paying you <laughs> you know interviews are a great way for people to learn about you like i said doing the basic things as an artist brings respect and more loyal fans so why would you not act upon those opportunities? Uh, Laser. Laser is funny as hell. Why would you not just be attracted to his energy? And I swear to God, I'm not going to use the word aura. I'm sick and tired of hearing that word. I remember when Ian popped off with a figure it out snippet. People were saying, this is hard, but he has no aura. Like, what are you talking about? Why does the aura matter? <laughs> or maybe he's just not acting mysterious. If you're an artist and you're worried about, like, your aura... 
you are stressing about the wrong things. You need to stress about your music and your engagement. Because at the end of the day, you can't even like make your own aura. One person just says something and then everybody else runs with it. I saw this video of Ian the other day and he was chilling with his family on Easter and they were just, you know, rapping the song that changed his life. And I'm thinking, man, who else is gonna post up with their family? Nobody, bro. I saw that video and I'm thinking, this is so wholesome. You know, just be yourself and people are gonna respect that. Because at the end of the day, we all need a reality check. That artists are humans too, they're not gods. If people can look at you and see you as a human, they're gonna have a better connection with you. Not this mythical figure that's out of reach. I really think this mysterious persona is dying out and personality is coming back. People just wanna feel connected to the music they listen to. They wanna associate the artist with the music. Sure, I'm listening to the music because I like it, but because I also respect the person making the music, if that makes sense. And if you take away that respect, you know, that's one half of the reasoning why I'm not gonna listen to you. Let's bring it back to Xavier for a second. I know his music's not for everybody, but you can, you know, just watch a couple of interviews of him. And at the end of the day, at least you can respect them. You know what I'm saying? That just incentivizes them to listen to your music more. Because if they respect you, they're just going to say, oh, his music's not for me, instead of just outright calling you trash. I think the thing that a lot of artists ignore is that their reputation actually matters. They just look at the numbers and say, oh, well, I'm popping off, so it doesn't really matter. Numbers doesn't mean quality. You can't even sell out shows and you're talking about, I'm, you know, I'm doing numbers. You look in the comments, everybody's hating on you and dogging on you. But at the end of the day, I'm doing numbers, so it don't matter. Yeah, sure, maybe if you're racking up millions of streams a day, I understand that you can't please everybody with your music. But at least you can make them respect you, you know what I'm saying? And that's just going to make your fans like you even more. It's okay if people want to learn about you. You don't have to say, you know, every little bit of personal detail. I promise, for a fact, you are not Cardi. And Cardi only pulls it off, barely, because he's Cardi. Bitch, I chop his head off. Bitch, I chop his head off. Bitch, I chop his head off.